am Andro. Welcome to the penultimate Sunday of Halloween Hot at King's Dominion. Some of the guests are warming up for tonight by screaming wildly back here on the flume. I'm standing here in the woods where people behind me screaming. Screaming gets me in the mood for hot. Screaming also keeps me in the mood for hot. So I really enjoy it when you come and scream. Um, I am well aware that a few of you are not really scared. And when you come in, you scream anyway. I don't really care. Just scream. Scream if you're scared. Scream if you just want to pretend you're scared. Either way works for, for Mantra. Last night, some girls wanted to hear me scream. That seemed very odd to me. I'm not really much for screaming. They kept saying boo. Eventually, they explained to me that they wanted to hear me scream. So I screamed. I did not scream like a little girl, so apparently I lost to the girl that screamed like a little girl. Mantrol does not consider it a bad thing that he does not scream like a little girl. Friday night, I scared a six-year-old, but only because his father paid me to. No, he just asked very nicely. I don't normally like to scare six-year-olds, and I guess that's probably bad because the six-year-olds paid good money to be here at King's Dominion and be scared just like the adults. So, I have now dedicated my life to scaring six-year-olds. Also seven and eight. In fact, I will pretty much scare anybody and does not look like they have not yet been to elementary school. I assume that once you have been to a public school, that you will be prepared to be scared. The six-year-old was very frightened, but he handled it very well, I thought. If you came to Cleaver Brothers on Saturday night, you may have noticed that some of our sliders are now like sparking across the ground. Being the last Sunday of Halloween Haunt, the, the kind people here at King's Dominion have decided to throw us a party. So now we are partying, partying, and there is a large speaker blasting music. You know how Mantrol feels about music. So I'm trying to avoid this whole party scene. But I have to make an appearance because a monster party would not be a monster party without Mantra, of course. They gave us food. But don't worry, it's, the day is still young. By the time we get out there to haunt you, we will be ready to eat again. I will tell you that at this moment, every monster here is groaning about this song choice. I want to talk about a disturbing new trend. It's Girl Scouts putting their flavoring into other items. Like Nesquik, Girl Scout Thin Mints. It's a drink that tastes like Thin Mints. I'm not saying it tastes bad. I'm saying I don't know how you avoid drinking mass quantities. Yes, did you see how I did the whole Conehead mass quantities thing? <laughs> I don't know how you avoid drinking mass quantities of Nest Quick Girl Scouts Thin Mints. I would say this is like false advertising. It is not Girl Scouts. We are not drinking Girl Scouts. Even though it says it's Nest Quick Girl Scouts, it's actually Thin Mints. We also had caramel coconut. This is one of the least favorite of mine when it comes to Girl Scout cookies. I did not try the milk. One of my favorites. There are all 
also little candy bars that are like flavored like Girl Scout cookies. At some point, people will realize they do not have to buy Girl Scout cookies anymore. They could just buy the candy bars. Although I'm sure that the Girl Scouts are making a ton of money on anything with their name on it. So we have finished our warm-ups, we have eaten our sustenance, and now it is time for us to come out and scare you. I hope you're there, because I will be very disappointed if we go out for resurrection and there are no guests. That's never happened, but I guess if monsters have one nightmare, it's that we will like show up and there'll be no guests. That and Gumby. But we actually had Gumby last night. So I've already lived that nightmare.